Hi, my name is Sandal and I am a licensed cosmetologist, herbalist, trichologist, research scientist, entrepreneur, and so many other things. And here on my channel, we talk about so many things, but today we're gonna get we're gonna dive deep into the wonders of nature and their benefits for healthy hair, skin, nails, gut health, and all over well-being. Today we are going to jump into the powerhouse that is citrus berry fusion. So what is in citrus berry? fusion it's quite a few things so let's get into it before we get started make sure you go ahead and subscribe here to the channel and then click on the bell notification so you're notified every time I post another video today we're gonna talk about the main constituents of all of these herbs green tea black tea rose hips chamomile goji berry elderberry and cinnamon did i mention cloves and this blend is a powerhouse the main constituents that each herb holds so what does that word mean when we're talking about a constituent of anything we are talking about basically the different pieces of a whole when you hear certain things or when you read certain articles that tell you that certain herbs and botanicals have certain abilities they are speaking of the constituents of these herbs now here are all of the key constituents of green tea and they are so freaking amazing and in short collectively they support cardiovascular health while boosting and maintaining a healthy metabolism that's gonna directly help you maintain weight control and help and aid the body in your weight management while also promoting brain health immune function your immune system maybe through repeated use it will decrease the amount of microbes on the skin which will in return result in a beautiful radiant skin number two black tea now here are all of the key constituents in black tea over on my blog I break down each one of these key constituents in grave detail right but of course as you can see this video would be an hour long if I broke down all of the constituents like one at a time so if you want to get real nerdy and geek out like I already have make sure you head over to my blog and you can read it for yourself these constituents have amazing cooling relaxing and soothing properties they will in return promote relaxation and alleviate stress and we know that when it comes to telogen effluvium right something that is a hair follicle disorder where the hair follicle is stuck within the telogen phase of the hair growth cycle which is the phase of the hair growth cycle where the hair isn't growing right it's not creating new hair growth cells it's not detaching itself in the blood supply and it's not falling out it's just not doing anything it's resting a lot of people are under the impression that they have dead hair follicles where in reality they're just a little dormant so with ingesting a blend that is rich in black tea or just black tea in general that's also in the apothecary right link in the description box below you end up revitalizing that hair's follicle remember i always tell you once a hair follicle is dead it's dead once a hair shaft is dead baby is dead that's why we are doing preventative measures okay you have to play this hair game from offense and defense from the inside out not the outside in moving along it has amazing antioxidant properties black tea supports heart health it really really aids the body at supporting gut health biotin that aids the body in building hair skin and nail cells during the hair during the analogous phase of the hair growth cycle are produced within the gut so the healthier the gut is the better and black tea really aids the gut at producing the type of microbiome that you need to produce Produce healthy hair skin and nails so amazing for that of course if it's helping with the gut microbiome then it's also going to aid the body in proper digestion remember if you're having a problem with hair growth and things of that nature it is most likely because your body is not able to break down all of the nutrients that you are ingesting into the body and then even if it's breaking it down stuff still needs to go out stuff gonna be overpopulated and you're gonna be breaking out so you need your digestion again 
This promotes oral health and it gives you a little burst of energy. So remember this blend is not caffeine free, but I do not add artificial caffeine to any of my blends. Remember certain herbs do have natural caffeine in it. Black tea and this blend itself is one of those. This is one of those like pick you uppers, right? And in a second, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of recipes here on the screen where you can see how you can drink it because right now I'm drinking it hot but you also have the ability to drink it cold. So get ready to focus your alertness and your concentration with this blend. Next up will be rose hips. Rose hips are so rich in vitamin C. This is a rich source of antioxidants. So antioxidants within the body are the powerhouse that your body needs to finish all of its normal and natural practices. It promotes immune function, so you will get sicker a lot less. Sicker, is that a word? You won't get sick as much, right? So it's making your immune system a lot more alert and a lot stronger. The same things that you guys know and love about vitamin C, it promotes skin health by reducing inflammation within the body because remember when our skin breaks out that there was a cause there was first a trigger that for that caused the inflammation and then once we have the inflammation then we have the outbreak or the pimple so this is something that is going to tackle the trigger that causes the inflammation in the first place so in return as a result you won't have the type of inflammation that leads to the thinning and the balding and like the embarrassment itself you just won't have it all right rose hips are amazing and i also have rose hips in another blend within our crimson magic but we're not talking about that today if you want to know more about the crimson magic blend then make sure you head over to the link in the description box below and actually just watch that whole entire playlist all right especially the one on chamomile now uh, in the video that I have in the description box below we have Egyptian chamomile and this is chamomile as well but we're using it for we're using it in conjunction with the this blend as a main conduit to do a little something special so this is what chamomile is bringing to the party constituents why do i keep saying that here are all of the key constituents and I'm, my bad key constituents i know a lot of words and after a while it becomes overload okay so so here are the key constituents of a chamomile chamomile is freaking amazing everybody knows it is known for its amazing relaxing properties and soothing properties if you are a person who has a problem falling asleep in any way shape or form calming doesn't always mean sleep right sometimes you just need to relax and chill this is what we would use it's so funny my husband and me we use my husband and I <laughs> we loved the um, Valencia orange refresher at Starbucks and my husband is like this wets my whistle for me we add a little bit of lemon juice and agave and a baby it just depends on how it goes to your taste and it does it for us right so keep that in mind again the calming and soothing properties help you to alleviate stress not only just you being stressed out but also stressed within the body any processes or systems within the body that are stressing from anything which could be a trigger that leads to the inflammation is cut off when you ingest chamomile on a regular basis again just like black tea you can get it within this blend or you can get it by itself through our red now chamomile is one of my favorites to drink when i'm on my cycle it's amazing link in the description box or you can get both let's keep going it aids the body in sleep and insomnia right combating insomnia by helping to calm and cool the mind just cooling the body now even though this is something that can help you even though this has caffeine in it the balance of the chamomile and the black tea what it does they counteract each other and it lets you be up and alert without overworking yourself right you you have just enough energy to be calm and chill just to get the work done you know what i mean get work done and have a little bit of fun 
anti-allergenic and anti-inflammatory benefits and properties and lastly it is amazing at helping to alleviate cramps and different types of menstrual discomfort amazing next up goji berry <laughs> here are the constituents of goji berry again i know it's a lot i need y'all to head over to the blog post as soon as we're done because it's so important that you familiarize yourself with all of these constituents so you can understand the way that herbs work in the body it's not just as simple as drinking something and oh like understand what properties are within these herbs that make them so amazing for you in the first place now elderberries is amazing because it really really drastically decreases the longevity of different colds and flus and things of that nature it really really puts a cap on how long the body is actually down it literally draws different toxins out of the body it is a powerful antioxidant the antioxidants of the antioxidant properties of elderberries are out of this world out of this world seriously it has amazing anti-inflammatory effects that really 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 prevent you from having certain cases that result in inflammation that lead to certain things like your seborrheic dermatitis remember it's first a trigger most of the time with seborrheic dermatitis the trigger was greasing the scalp or oiling the scalp right or not washing the hair enough right you'll get seborrheic dermatitis and then it before or it goes to seborrheic dermatitis you know you'll be greasing the scalp that was your trigger then the scalp will be really itchy and the more itchy the scalp gets the more oils and butters you put on it to combat that itchiness which just results in even more inflammation and then you have seborrheic dermatitis that is the end goal but ingesting something like elderberries after you've reversed the patterns that cause the inflammation in the first place it will really help to reset the body and really help the body to get rid of all of the inflammation from the inside because when you follow different patterns like packing butters and oils and stuff like that on top of the hair shaft and on top of the scalp what you end up doing decreasing airflow right you end up decreasing the airflow the next thing that you end up um, increasing is the level of transparency so it looks like your hair is thinning out but it's really not getting thin it's just becoming more transparent because you're suffocating it with hair products and things of that nature so once you do things on the outside right it's still time for you to do things on the inside so yes you've changed your patterns around from the outside but we need something to help you detox and to get rid of those things on the inside and elderberries are amazing for that it'll help the body to kill off all of those and all of those bacteria that are on the inside that are throwing off the microbiome that is throwing off the way that your body is naturally producing the things that it needs to produce i hope that makes sense leave it in the comments if you don't powerful antioxidant reduce it improves the immune function and reduces the longevity of your colds and flu like symptoms improves heart health and of course by decreasing the inflammation it automatically by default in increases and improves the skin health now goji berry here are all of the key constituents for goji berry goji berry is freaking amazing for your eye health for your visual health so if you are a person who stares at a computer screen all the time or just everybody need their eyeballs it's great for your vision for your visual health <laughs> it's also a rich source of antioxidants and so amazing at its immune boosting properties if you are a person who has problems with the immune system elderberry awesome sauce and the thing is a lot of people think that just because winter's over that you no longer need to increase but if anything if anything you need to uh do something to decrease the amount of bacteria that you spread anyway because y'all really spreading bacteria in the summertime because y'all all got y'all booty cheeks out y'all do you do be having your booty cheeks out 
And of course, because of its anti-inflammatory properties, it's going to reduce, it is going to improve your skin health because you're just not going to have outbreaks. How are you going, how can you have inflammation when there's nothing to trigger the inflammation that leads to the outbreak? Your, your skin will be clear. Cloves. Here are the key constituents of cloves. Cloves are a powerhouse. Make sure you check this video link here where I go even deeper into cloves and all of its mastery, right? Cloves took off for a minute because everybody thought that you were supposed to just put cloves in your hair and leave it there. But no, don't do that. Watch this video. Cloves are also amazing for relieving like toothaches and different like uh, and different oral pain. So by just simply drinking, by simply just like chewing on cloves in general can alleviate some of the pain in your tooth the same way that like grinding up, smashing up garlic and putting garlic on a tooth that has any type of inflammation or pain will literally knock it out in a couple minutes. I'm telling you, try it try it that's one of my like my herbalist remedies let i'm telling you mix up some alum alum stone and some garlic together in a mortar and pestle baby and put that on your tooth for girl toothache wear and you'll actually get rid of some inflammation and bust some pussy like bumps and We'll talk about that in another video. If you want me to go over a couple of different remedies that you can use straight out of your kitchen to help with stuff, then let me know. But I don't want to hop in that herbal bag and get too herbally if y'all don't want me to. But it relieves toothaches and oral pain like nobody's business. But when we are drinking it in a tea form, you want to make sure that you you brew it longer. So if you're trying to alleviate some type of pain or you want it to be super strong, then you would, it's, I really recommend taking about two tablespoons of it into into the into the a certain amount of water that is escaping my brain so i'm gonna put it right here and then once you brew it just sit it overnight and let it brew and then drink it in the morning and then you'll have a way way stronger brew that will have as many of the key constituents out as possible remember you just like warming up a cup of water and just sticking it in there is not necessarily going to pull out all of them right not it's not necessarily going to pull out all of the key constituents that's why we do do things that's why we do do things so that's why it's really really imperative that you either get a longer brew i don't remember what i was saying because my camera died so just and it wasn't in the script so it supports digestive health while also having amazing antimicrobial effects and it also works to improve your liver's health remember your liver is your liver is responsible for getting your liver is responsible for the filtering of and the release of the different toxins that of the different toxins that you put into the body so the food that you eat the good and the bad Bad things are filtered through the liver and released out through your urine right I break it down a little bit more in this video about Bodoc root so really go deep into it there but if your liver most of the time if you are having an issue with your skin most of the time it's a liver problem because if your liver is clogged and if your body is in your digestive system isn't working the way that it's supposed to and your gut health is imbalanced then what's going to happen is the liver is going to be clogged the liver is not going to be able to do what it needs to do so guess what happens your skin then becomes your body's second liver and when the skin becomes the body's second liver that is the trigger to the inflammation that leads to the breakouts that leads to the eczema that leads to the cerebral dermatitis and all of the other different forms of inflammation it's not just about the skin but any form of inflammation like something like arthritis arthritis is inflammation of the joints i'm not saying that this tea go cure arthritis that's not what i'm saying i'm just using that as an example i don't got time if we don't have bones we just a bag of jello and it is amazing because cloves actually help the body and it sits the body at at 
and maintaining bone health. It's amazing. And the last addition to this blend is cinnamon. Here are all of the key constituents of cinnamon. And as you can see, they're freaking amazing. Again, listed over on my blog, so don't miss it. Make sure you head over there and check it out so you can understand each one of these. And also check this video here because I go even deeper into cinnamon there but just the just so overall cinnamon has i deal with different forms of inflammation throughout my sweat gland that's what hs is and so when i have this blend as a part of my regular of my regular diet i find that I find that as long as I keep my diet pretty balanced, I am chill through the day. I haven't had an outbreak in months and the only time that my outbreaks come is when I'm dusty, when I have like a double cheeseburger or if I'm being lazy on a day that I've been filming all day and I may have my husband get some pizza because I don't feel like cooking like today. But I'm not going to have no outbreak because I've been brewing a cup of this since yesterday and it's going to be real orange by the time I get to eat my pizza so I'm going to be okay. This supports blood sugar regulation, which is friggin' amazing. And it has like a natural sweet taste to it. Right now, there's literally nothing in here. Nothing. It's just the tea straight. Studies have shown that, that cinnamon may improve insulin sensitivity within the body, has amazing antimicrobial effects, and completely holds the body's hand as it pertains to its antimicrobial effects because when the body is able to become overran with bad bacteria it makes the body so hard to follow its normal processes and like we just talked about that's where all of your inflammation where all of your outbreaks come when you anytime have you ever done like a green cleanse or something like that or just had a just completely switch up your eating habits and then you find that your skin looks the best that it's ever looked your hair feels the best that it ever looked like your boo-boo sessions ain't two three hours long no more you in and out it's in and out you know what I mean like you'll just notice over time different things change these are the things that I want you to start paying attention to it supports it supports brain health it may help you by by it helping to regulate the metabolism it really will aid in regulating your weight so you'll stay full fat you'll stay full longer so you won't just be in there munching and crutching and gain weight for no reason it supports heart health and again helps with your con helps with brain health right so this tea is amazing i love this blend i worked really really hard on making sure that i had the right measurement of each herb within this blend and now it is done right so if you want to get your hands on this blend then make sure you check the links in the description box below and get your hands on it now and also please 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 with a cherry on top it's free make sure you head over to my blog and when you get over to my blog, you can read even deeper into the constituents that go into each one of these herbs. Because as you can see, this video was already pretty lengthy and we didn't even go into all of the constituents. We would be here forever. So let me know what you think about this form of um, herbal videos. Normally, if I do an herbal video, I will dive deep into all of the key constituents one at a time. But again on a video like this it'll just take forever so let me know in the comments below do you like it this way where i just break down the basics and then you can go read it for yourself and keep doing your own research or do you want me to sit here for an hour with the microphone explaining to y'all all of the different key constituents let me know what you want a player to do because you never know maybe i'm wrong Maybe I'm wrong. So this is part one. And part two, we're going to go even deeper into this blend and what you can do and, what, and the different ways that you can use it, all right? I love you guys so much. Until my next video, bye.